Hello, I'm Aubrey Shepard, and we've got pictures from Fayetteville, Arkansas. Let's look at them. Okay. That is a soldier beetle, and it was a close-up that uh, was fairly clear, and I thought I'd show you what it, they looked like. That's Monarda, Monarda um, also known as bee bomb. That's a pearl crescent butterfly, and it's not much bigger than my thumb, a little bit bigger, but it's on the small size for butterflies. Ah, Teratots, new business in uh, South Fayetteville, actually just uh, at the cor uh, northwest corner of the uh, Town Branch neighborhood. Hi, Dee, that's my daughter. She came over on Father's Day, so we posed me wearing Dad Way Cool shirt. Uh, and she went walking over on World Peace Wetland Prairie with me, and we uh, looked at wildflowers. So you see bumblebees and all kinds of other critters. I'm not sure exactly what that insect is, uh, what category even. That's a painted lady butterfly on a coneflower, purple cone, coneflower. And uh, it's a, in the Vanessa family. It's Vanessa cardui. And I do love those. They, they're found on every continent on Earth except Australia and the Antarctic. So anywhere there's land, you, just about you can find them uh, in some part of that land body. And they do migrate some, not, as, not quite the same way uh, monarchs do. But you know what the secret is? There's some grass flowers right there, and you see some other things uh, in the background. That big leaf thing there is going to be extremely large. It's um, a uh, basket flower plant. The basket uh, type leaves give it its name, I think. There's a little moth that I was interested in. Got a close up, you can see that's not my thumb, that's a smaller finger, and that thing is smaller than my fingernail. Interesting looking though. And there's an Arkansas Highway Department guy. He's leveling off some loose dirt they pitched there in Martin Luther King. And here comes the guy with a, a front end loader and dumps more of that dirt there. And cars are going by and it's blowing on them. And you can see there's mud and chunks in the street. And that should have been kept. That's uh, This is Asclepius viridus. The uh, green is what viridus means. And um, there are the pods of Asclepius viridus milkweed. It's sometimes called spider milkweed or antelope horns milkweed. That butterfly is a gray hair streak. It also is about the size of your thumbnail or smaller. And it's uh, on the um, butterfly milkweed. And that's a clouded uh, sulfur butterfly. And here we have a zebra swallowtail butterfly. And a lot of these are on the butterfly weed, which is also Asclepius uh, tuberosa. There is a dragonfly. And maybe I've got another picture of that dragonfly. Anyway, till next time, this is Aubrey Shepard asking you to do your part to help keep the water clean, the air pure, and the woods green. See ya. Hello, I'm Aubrey Shepard, and it's uh, the um, 20th of June, 2011. And of course, we've got flower pictures and such. This is a Asclepius hertella. It's a tall green milkweed, sometimes called prairie milkweed. And that uh, orange one is the uh, Asclepius tuberosa. And there's uh, a coneflower. It's the Rudbeckia family of coneflowers, as opposed to the, uh, the purples you'll see. And that was an interesting fly. It's not a bee, I think, uh, even though it looks a lot like some, some of the bees, but see how big the eyes are on the front? And it only has one pair of wings instead of two like bees. So it can be called a flower fly. Okay, this is another uh, 
example of the many types of dragonflies that we have in northwest Arkansas. And uh, here's uh, the tiny flower known as uh, hmm. <laughs> okay, I blew that one. I, I was trying to struggle with the insect name and I couldn't even say daisy fleabane, but here are more daisy fleabanes. And this is another insect that I believe is in the fly family rather than the bee family. But you see it looks much like uh, some of the wasps and bees that you've seen. Here's a bumblebee on a passion flower. And uh, there's a tiny daisy flea bane down at the right. And there's a close up of that big old uh, bright uh, member of the sunflower family, I think, but for sure it's a member of the aster family. Um, bumblebee again, and I'm trying to get some decent close ups of those guys, and, and need a Photoshop person to, to bring out a little more detail. This bug looks much like the, the small milkweed bugs that we see eating the milkweed plants, but it's not on milkweed in this case, and I've been looking up some of the different ones that look similar to milkweed bugs and act like them, but uh, forage on different plants. Here is some kind of insect eating another kind of insect. I can't identify either one of them, and I did uh, crop this severely to get, to get a little more uh, of a view of what's going on there. That's Lanocera sempervirens. That's the native trumpet honeysuckle. You can see a bumblebee. He's got his nose in there trying to, to get some pollen and nectar. And uh, that's a, a different view. And these aren't the ones I showed you two or three weeks ago. These may be on some of the same plants, but they're new growth as the, as the plant keeps growing. Uh, it, it keeps blooming for a while this summer and maybe later. Uh, that is the same insect I showed you before. I think it's a little moth. And I got a better close up, but I still haven't got a good one of it. That's also a milkweed, but it's a milk vine. Its uh, leaves don't look uh, much like the uh, rest of the milkweed, except for certain characteristics that can be identified. But it does have a milky stem, and it does provide sustenance for the caterpillars of monarch butterflies. And that's a big deal, folks, because they could become extinct, unlike the one I've showed you recently that uh, uh, has a hundred host plants. Monarch butterflies have a hundred types of milkweed as host plants, but they don't grow everywhere. So being adaptable makes it possible to live longer and reproduce and survive changes in the climate. Till next time, this is Albert Shepard asking you to do your part to help keep the water clean, the air pure, and the woods green.